Well people, today is the 22nd of December 2012 and I would like to turn this into something positive. I would like to turn this into a good thing for everybody involved, not just those of us who have been looking at the prophecies and looking at the predictions and who have always pointed out that it is all a steaming heap of horse manure and who have now been proven right about this because we could just take this now and we could just start strutting and gloating and pointing out how right we have always been but what's that what good is that going to do you know first of all those of you who did believe that the world was going to end that there was some sort of cataclysm uh, going to happen on the 21st of december that we were going to see a mega quake a tsunami a super volcano, a giant solar flare, a cosmic impact, whatever else you can think of, that that was going to happen on the 21st of December. I, I think you are probably feeling embarrassed enough as it is today, on the 22nd of December 2012, without us rubbing it in. And we also have to think about those of you who are looking at this from the other side of the coin and whose disappointment has not yet come. Those of you who have convinced yourself that this is the start of a new era of great positive change for humanity, those of you are still set for a fall. You are still waiting to be disappointed on this today. As I pointed out in my video, the Mayan placebo, recently, you guys are probably currently experiencing some sort of euphoric frame of mind. You probably feel right now that you are at the start of this new era, that the world is full of possibility, that the world is full of hope and so on. And that will probably carry you for a while while you keep convincing yourself that this has happened, that this change has happened. But inevitably, as I pointed out in that other video, you are going to wake up one day realizing that really it has been just the same old, same old all along. And then you are going to hit that rock bottom. Now, I can again, I could just sit here and gloat about this. I could just sit here and point out that this is the fact and just leave you to fend for yourself. And that's why I wanted to make this video today. Rather than gloating and strutting and pointing out how right I've been all along, which doesn't do you any good, I'm now going to point out what should be obvious, but what you might have to realize at this stage. And I hope that there are some people who will come across this video after having hit that rock bottom, after having realized that it's not it hasn't changed, that things aren't different out there in the big world, that there is no new era, and that they've been kidding themselves. And what I would like you to do is to think about how you felt on this date, the 22nd of December or the 21st, the moment when you were still convinced that this was the start of something new, something better, something bigger, something more beautiful, or whatever else you started to believe in. You had convinced yourself that the world was a place full of hope, full of opportunity, full of possibility, full of potential. Where did that come from? It didn't come from some cosmic alignment, cosmic vibrations, galactic plane, or any other such nonsense. It didn't come from there. And you now realize that, because now it has all faded away, whatever day you are looking at this, it has now faded away, it's gone, you're felt with this, you're left with this feeling of loss of emptiness of, it's all been in vain. But still you felt like that. And if it didn't come from an actual external source, like a cosmic alignment or a galactic plane or whatever else you believed in, 
Where did it come from? It came from within yourself. You managed to create that feeling for yourself. You built that up for yourself by convincing yourself that you were living through this period of great change. And that changed your attitude. That changed the way you looked at life, you looked at reality, you looked at the world outside, and you saw a world full of possibility, full of potential, full of hope and change. But where it really came from was from within yourself. And if you did that once, you can do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again, whenever you need to. You can produce that feeling for yourself. Because the world, if you're going to be cynical about this, is just this place out there that couldn't give a flying, you know what, about you and what you're doing in it. And it just throws at you a lot of random crap. Good, bad and indifferent. What makes the real difference here is your attitude to how you approach all this random stuff that reality throws at you. If you are going to approach the world with an open mind, open to possibility, open to potential, open to you know, um, whatever could be possible out there, open to opportunity, that's the word I was thinking of, you will see it if and when it randomly arises. If you are approaching the world with a negative outlook, with a negative approach, opportunity, you could trip over opportunity. And you just think, bloody hell, I've tripped over something. And carry on on your miserable way. Those are the choices. You cannot change what happens out there. Stuff that are outside your control. There is no such thing as the secret that will help you to do cosmic ordering or some other nonsense where you can influence the universe to do things that you want. That is crap. That is bullshit. But your attitude to all the stuff that does happen makes all the difference. If you are open to anything good that could possibly come your way, then you will see it when it comes your way. If not, you won't. And if you cannot see how that will obviously influence the course of your whole life, then of course I can't help you either. If you do, you realize that you do not need anything external. You do not need to latch on to ideas such as cosmic vibrations and galactic alignments and whatever other nonsense.